And here is the Writer's Almanac for Friday. It's the 3rd of May, 2019. The birthday of Niccolo Machiavelli, Florence, 1469, whose name in the word Machiavellian has come to stand for the book's central theme, namely, The Ends Justify the Means. The book was his political how-to manual, The Prince, written 1513 which many philosophers read as a satire, not as a serious treatise. It's the birthday of the playwright of the Midwest, William Inge, born 1913, Independence, Kansas. William Inge said, People who grow up in small towns get to know each other so much more closely than they do in cities. He was a drama critic in St. Louis. He met Tennessee Williams, and that inspired William Inge to write plays. Come Back Little Sheba, Picnic, Bus Stop, The Dark at the Top of the Stairs, all of them made into movies, and then his screenplay, Splendor in the Grass. He killed himself the year before the movie came out, convinced that he could no longer write. It's the birthday of the poet and novelist Yehuda Amakai, born in Würzburg, Germany, 1924, moved to Palestine, 1936, became an Israeli citizen, one of the first poets to write in colloquial Hebrew. He said, I'd been raised in a very orthodox home, and the language of the prayers in the Bible were part of my natural language. Meanwhile, the modern Hebrew language was an everyday language after having been a language of prayers and synagogue for 2,000 years. And it's the birthday of the poet and novelist May Sarton, born in Vondelgem, Belgium, 1912, came to this country as a child, thought she would go into the theater, and then a series of her sonnets was published in Poetry Magazine in 1930, and she decided to become a writer. Also a memoirist, her memoir, Journal of a Solitude, came out in 1973. She had a stroke in 1990. She couldn't write anymore, but she produced three more journals and a volume of verse by dictating them into a tape recorder. Here's a poem by Sarah Wetzel, Ambition. I wanted to tell the woman at the party that I knew the truth. She didn't adopt her dog from a kill shelter which is what she was telling a group of us. I held my tongue for fear of appearing petty. We all want to be better than we are. Yesterday, my sister called and asked for money. At first, I told her no, but she'd received the third notice from Georgia Power, so I paid her $700 electric bill, though told her never again, unless her husband got a job, any job. I cc'd him on the email. He wrote back, you're an awful person, with a mixture of rage and bitterness I could hear, even on the screen. Still, this time I meant it. I overheard the woman at the party tell her friend they'd actually purchased the dog from a breeder in upstate New York. We spent so much money we could have adopted a baby from China. I found her statement funny. I want to be better. I want to save a dog to save my sister. I want to tread lightly on this world without leaving footprints or too many plastic wrappers. I want to see Singapore and Vietnam, to spend a summer in Italy, writing short stories and a sonnet or two, learn to tango and foxtrot equally well. I want to be good. I want to write one poem so perfect that when I'm dead, a stranger will pin it to the wall, perhaps even claim it as their own. Ambition, a poem by Sarah Wetzel from The David's Inside David, published by Terrapin Books and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. 